Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden from TomePure.com and in this video we're going to take a look at how to add an external instrument as uh, simply as possible. So the first thing we'll do is look at the audio interface. So we go to Studio Audio Connections and then we have inputs in line 1 and 2. This is a Symphony I.O. and outputs are one and two. It has 16 inputs and 16 outputs. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, go to back to studio and then click on more options and then select MIDI device manager. And I'm going to um, install the device. Now when you do that, all these predefined devices come up. So if you have one of those devices, then you could just select whichever device that is that you have. And if it's not listed, then you would want to define a new device. And the device I'm connecting is the MP11SE. And then what I'm going to do is check uh, CC10 pan, volume, sustain, modulation, pitch bend, and after touch. And I'll allow sys, sysx parameters and then select OK. And notice it's not connected. So the input into it is going to be the USB MIDI input, which is this one here. It also happens to be the device I'm installing as an external hardware device. It's the USB MIDI connection from the MP11SE. Okay, then I'll go to external instruments and add the external instrument. It has one stereo return. So associated MIDI device, the one that we just created, the MP11SE. Okay. Then we need to set the audio inputs that the output of the device is going into. So the inputs would be line seven and eight are available. And now we've created this external instrument. And so the next thing we'll do is add a track, instrument track. In particular, we'll search for the device. And there it is. I'll add that track. So if I play a mini note, then we get the device playing. And the nice thing about using an external instrument is you can actually record MIDI on it. So if I go ahead and start recording, Obviously, I'm not using the click to record. And then uh, I'll go ahead and stop it, rewind it. And play. Now this device is controllable here because it's a keyboard. So I can, it has three basically sections. So by changing it,
So there you have it. That's how to add an external instrument, at least one method in Cubase. So Bill McFadden signing off from tomepure.com. <laughs>